In the following tutorial we're going to look at the DATS analysis sound quality audio replay application and to begin I'm just going to launch the DATS analysis software just double click on the link and the DATS software will load for me and when it loads there'll be a dialog just to remind me that I'm currently using the standard interface there's the advanced and the standard interface available in DATS and I'm currently using the standard interface I just click OK to dismiss the dialog from the applications toolbar if I select the sound quality audio replay item I'm now looking at the sound quality audio replay application and on the left hand side here I would have my playlist and this is where all the signals and data sets will be where we replaying them in the bottom right hand corner we have our file tree explorer and on the right hand side here we have our analysis and work area so to begin I'm going to add some data into a playlist and I'm going to use some of the example data which is available within the DATS installation and it's installed onto the C drive in the DATS W70 folder examples data and there's a subfolder called rotating machinery and there's a file called race car run up and if I just click on the little plus next to the um, data you can see that we have an exhaust signal, a noise left, a noise right, a taco and a taco speed and as this is acoustically based the audio replay software will be analyzing the left and right noise signal and the taco speed signal if we only had one acoustic signal then we'd be working in mono but in this case we have both a driver's left and a driver's right ear so we'll be working in stereo to add the data I just simply drag and drop that data set onto the playlist and it will be automatically added for me now this particular data set I know has two tachometer pulses per revolution and just to verify that it's been set up correctly if you right click on an item in the playlist and select modify you can see various information about this particular data set and we have got two pulses per revolution and we're using a four cylinder engine in this particular case and it's already correctly chosen that the taco or speed signal is named taco for us automatically so what we're looking at here is the left signal in green and the right signal in blue and you'll notice that this waterfall is also shown in green that's because this is the waterfall associated with the left signal we can use these LR buttons here to switch between left and right so this would now be the right or blue waterfall and this is now the left green waterfall and we can simply replay the signals just by using the buttons here in the bottom left hand corner of the screen play pause and stop so just by clicking play we'll see the cursors move across the screen and the sound and you'll have noticed that we're moving in time along the x-axis for the time signals but in the waterfall the cursors moving with speed now if I'd like to repeat the signal I can use the loop button and now when I click on the play button the software just continues to loop around and around so I'm just going to stop that with the stop button what we can use in combination with the loop button is the work zone button and this allows me to select a small subsection of my signals and just concentrate on replaying just that small section and you can see the, the red cursor here shows us the speeds associated with those times we can see the times and the speeds here I'm just going to stop that now now the main focus for the audio replay software is to have the ability to filter so for this particular signal if we wanted to filter we simply click on the filter button here in the top left hand corner of the screen and we can choose various different types of filter frequency pass frequency reject order pass order reject in this particular situation I'm going to select order reject 
and I'm going to reject second order as that's probably the strongest order in this particular automotive signal. You can type any number you'd like here, any set of frequencies, any types of orders. It's also possible to use an RPM curve as well if you'd like to control the amount of attenuation or gain across a speed range it's possible to use this feature to create your own attenuation curves should you want to but that's a that's a situation for a different tutorial another time so I have my second order filter reject I click on the OK button and that will be calculated for me as another tab. You'll see I now have two tabs. I have my original time series and now my filtered tab. You'll notice it has a slightly different symbol here along the bottom and also in the playlist. And if I play these signals I can now switch real time between the tabs and the signals will be switched with speed and not with time. So when I switch from one signal to the other the corresponding RPM is matched in the other signal and the replay continues from that RPM, not from time. So if we just concentrate on one small section of the signals we can acoustically analyse that there is some small difference between those two in this particular situation. If we'd like to look at the speed curve, it is possible using the speed curve button here in the top left hand corner to look at the speed curve which we're using at the same time. So now when we play the data we can see we're actually going through the speed curve at the same time. It's also possible for us to analyse orders and sound quality metrics and we do that via the settings button here on the right hand side and we simply choose which orders we would like to analyze and I'm going to select second, fourth and sixth order and I'm also going to select various sound quality metrics in this situation I'm going to select them all and now all that processing is taken care of for us automatically And we now have the ability to show both order plots and sound quality metrics. I'm going to turn off my time series to make it a little bit more visible for us. So here we're looking at the left signal orders. And we can change to the right and I'll notice a slight difference. And we're looking at second, fourth and sixth order. And down at the bottom here we're looking at the loudness by Svika diffuse sound quality metric. And if we'd like to change sound quality metrics to look at one of the other ones that we calculated, we can simply say data, sound quality metric, and simply choose a different option. In this case, let's go for speech articulation index. And we now have a slightly different metric which we can run through there. And if we'd like to see the same in the filter, we can again simply turn that particular metric on and then switch between the two. It's possible to have as many different filters as we would like. And it's possible if you prefer to show the waterfalls as intensity plots and it's also possible to use cursors on any of the graphs. And you'll see the values in the cursor window on the left hand side there. It's possible to save any playlist that you've created using the file save as option to be loaded again sometime later. And this concludes our sound quality audio replay demonstration for today.